Hello, everybody. I just uh, presented the results of Odyssey HCM at ESC, uh, which evaluated whether Mavacamptan compared to placebo helped improve uh, patient reported outcomes or exercise capacity. This was a phase three randomized control trial held across 201 sites uh, all over the world. The primary endpoints, the dual primary endpoints were KCCQ23 change at week 48 from baseline, as well as peak VO2 change at week 48 from baseline. We also measured a slew of secondary endpoints, including VEVCO2 change, biomarkers, NYHA, as well as other quality of life metrics. Additionally, we also measured uh, various safety endpoints. Mavic Hampton was started at five milligrams compared uh, and up titrated or down titrated for uh, about four, for 48 weeks. What did we find? Essentially at week 48, uh, compared to placebo, Mavic Hampton did not result in statistically significant difference, improvement in KCCQ23 or a peak VO2. Uh, one in five patients on Mavic Hampton developed a reversible LV ejection fraction reduction up to 50% or less than 50%, which improved with discontinuation or, or interruption of Mavic Hampton. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, uh, in this large phase three trial of symptomatic non-obstructive HCM patients, Mavic Hampton compared to placebo did not improve uh, peak VO2 or KCCQ23 compared to placebo. Ongoing uh, responder analysis, imaging, and biomarker analysis will help us identify if there is a subgroup of non-obstructive symptomatic HCM patients that benefit from this therapy. But this paper was published in New England Journal of Medicine simultaneously, and I would like to thank my colleagues, my co-investigators, and the patients who helped uh, recruit for this trial. Thank you.